Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's learn about recursion. First up, what is recursion? Recursion is a problem solving technique where the solution depends on solutions to smaller instances of the same problem. If we have to get more technical, we can say recursion is when a function calls itself. Now why would we need this technique? Well, recursion is a great technique to simplify your solution. If you find yourself breaking down the problem into smaller versions of the same problem, recursion is very useful. Here is a simple analogy. Let's say there is a college in your neighborhood. You go to the principal and ask how many students are there in your college. The principal replies, the total number of students is equal to the total number of students under Professor A, who is the head of science, and Professor B, who is the head of commerce. When the two professors are asked the same question, Professor A replies, the total number of students in science is equal to the total number of students under Teacher A plus Teacher B. Similarly, Professor B replies, the total number of students in commerce is equal to the total number of students under Teacher C plus teacher D. This is the lowest level to which the problem can be broken down. Now the teachers count the number of students and report back to the professor. The professors report the total back to the principal. The principal then responds with the total number of students in the school. The problem has always been finding the number of students but in each level, the problem is smaller. Now, before we dive into solving the Fibonacci and factorial problems with recursion, here are a few points I want you to make note of. The first point is that every recursive solution needs to have a base case. A base case is nothing but a condition to terminate the recursion. If you don't have a base case, you'll have an infinite loop which can crash your program. Second point, recursion might simplify solving the problem, but it does not always translate to a faster solution. A recursive solution may be far worse compared to an iterative solution. We will see this in the next video. Finally, recursion is a topic that is not the most straightforward to understand. When I was learning about it, we had to solve the Tower of Hanoi problem. After I had a look at the solution, I had zero clue as to what was happening. And for that reason, I want you to get familiar with simple problems like Fibonacci and factorial. And to be honest, even that might be difficult to understand at first. But like I always say, if you're struggling to understand a concept, rewatch the video and it will slowly start to make sense. All right, with these points in mind, let's look at the recursive solution to the Fibonacci sequence problem in the next video.